Hello everyone, you're welcome back to NG Spice Kitchen. So today we are going to be cooking black beans and potato. Normally I used to cook it with yam, but I don't have yam at hand. So you can substitute yam using some white potato. Or in Nigeria we call it Irish potatoes. So here I'm using some roses um, potato. Is what I normally use to supplement um, substitute for yam okay so I'm gonna start by washing the um, black beans before going to wash it I have already picked it like picked out any dirt or stone that is left in the beans I normally do the even though the beans I'm using is very very clean and picked already but I also like to pick it myself to be sure because sometimes um, stones might be hiding in, in it and you will see it. it might be black stone <laughs> with the beans so after washing it I like to bring my water to a boil like so I'm gonna be adding the washed beans um, into the boiling water in the pot. So just add it and then I'm gonna cover it and allow it to boil for about 20 minutes. So while waiting for it to um, boil, I'm gonna be preparing the ngu. I am using ngu here. If you don't have ungu, you can use okam. That is edible potash for this. So here is the ngu I'm going to be using. I'm going to add water to it. What we need is the solution. That is the ngu solution, the water. You don't need the dust. Please do not put the dust into your food unless you want to eat sandal. <laughs> So I'm going to uh, add water, stir it, allow it to settle. So after about 20 minutes, I'm going to go ahead and add the um, Ungo solution. Yeah, you see the dirt coming out. So do not add the powder into your food. So I'm going to use, as you can see, I'm using strainer to strain out the dirt. Like fitter you know so that you don't add the dirty see all those things you don't want it to go into your food so after adding it i'm just give it a stir and then i'm gonna cover this um, black beans and allow it to cook properly like cook properly until the beans is very soft yeah So when, once the base is soft, like so, it's soft here, it's very cooked. So I'm going to go ahead now and add the um, potato. Yes, I've peeled potato, wash it, you know, clean it, and then I'm going to add it, cut it in cubes like this because the base is done so that it, yeah, the potato will be ready in no time. Potato it doesn't take about 10 or 15 minutes, it's, it's done. Can see my beans is very soft so just put in the make sure there's no too much water like it should be the same level like so so i'm going to cover it and allow the potato to cook so right now the potato is well cooked as you can see so at this time i'm going to go ahead and start adding the other ingredients so here is the onion i'm using white onion that's what I have available, but if you have purple onion, you can also use it. Then next, I go in with the habanero pepper. I'm also using yellow habanero pepper. You can use any type of pepper you have. Next is ehuru. Ehuru, I think it's called uh, uh, nutmeg calabash or calabash nutmeg. <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember. So, it's ehuru. Then next, I'm going in with my seasoning cube. Next, I will go in with pink salt. Remember, you can use any salt 
you like it must not be pink salt because i get the question <laughs> do i use only pink salt i say no that's what i am using in my home you can use any salt you have then after that i go in with the palm oil please be a little generous with the palm oil even though it's not still gonna show the black bees is still gonna <laughs> overtake the palm oil but you know i love to add um palm oil like more than normal so that at least <laughs> a little bit will be so after that i'm gonna go in with um some ground fish this is dried fish ground in powder so i call it ground fish powder then next i go in with vegetable i'm using kale here you can use any vegetable of your choice you can even skip using vegetable if you don't like vegetable in your black beans some people don't like it but me i like to add a little vegetable like so then stir it properly cover it to cook for about three to five minutes and the food is ready so at this stage you can serve and enjoy it like so here i am dishing out for tomorrow's lunch at work as usual <laughs> so i am going to serve this with some stewed goat meat yes yeah, stewed goat meat i have already yeah so that's what i'm putting here so you can serve it with any side of your choice and you can also eat it like so and there you go our food is ready and very delicious it tastes so delicious try this and let me know how yours came out you know this food is so yummy thank you guys for watching see you in my next one bye bye